Hello, I'm Karin Palin from the University of Bordeaux and it's a pleasure for me to talk about the domain related to the basics for pharmacovigilance and pharmacoepidemiology in the EU2P program. This domain is coordinated by Dr. Annie Foyeregla. First of all, uh, this is an overview um, of the objectives of this domain directed by the University of Bordeaux. Um, the course objectives uh, at all our introductory level and um, we aimed at making the trainees familiar and able to understand the main epidemiological and statistical principles, concepts and tools used in pharmacovigilance and pharmacoepidemiology practices and research. We also want um, to train people on the main health indices used to describe mortality and morbidity of the population. Uh, we aimed at learning the principles used to design and appraise the observational studies and finally to master basic concepts on how to communicate written and oral scientific results. All these introductory level courses are available as standalone certificates or in the Master Year 1 of the EU2P Master Curriculum. The blue squares here represent the four modules of this domain in the Master Year curriculum. So you can find basics in epidemiology, basics in statistics, analysis and synthesis of health data, and valorization and critical appraisal in research. All these modules are really essential to go to the Master Year 2 of the U2P Master degree. The first module are the basics in epidemiology has the following objectives. To understand the basic concepts and principles in epidemiology, to become familiar with the epidemiological tools that could be used in pharmacovigilance and pharmacoepidemiology, as well as to understand the specificity of these tools. The second module are the basics in statistics aims at explaining how to describe uh, the epidemiological data, the basic concept of probabilities and their distributions, to explain how to perform data estimations, how to realize an hypothesis testing, and finally to introduce you the principles of simple linear regression. The third module is in two parts because it is a big one. So it concerns the valorization and critical appraisal in research. In the first part of this module, you will be able to plan, prepare and release scientific results to the scientific community, to learn to compare and analyze scientific data in literature, and finally to manage scientific watch strategies and available tools such as the scientific information search, collection, management and citation. The second part of this module has the following objectives. For you to be able to present a poster and an oral scientific communication. To learn the main institutions involved in health at the European and international levels, who they are, what are their main roles and the way they interact with each other. And to be able to analyze the research funding opportunities, compare and experiment how to submit proposals for research funding. The last module is an analysis and synthesis of health data. The main objectives of this module is to be able to synthesize in a consistent manner available information related to a pharmacoepidemiological problem from different data sources. So this module especially consists in four assignments to be delivered each month 
um, between January and June in order to oppress uh, the different problems related to pharmacovigilance and pharmacoepidemiology. Mainly, you are required to work on the problem associated to the overuse and or misuse of antibacterial drugs. I thank you very much for your attention and uh, we strongly hope uh, to see you among the EU2P trainees.